NFL Week 12. We're talking Monday Night Football. We got an NFC North Divisional rematch between the Bears and Vikings. These two teams met back in mid-October. Vikings covered the 3.5-point spread, winning by 6 points, but the Bears won that box score. Turnovers were the difference in that game. But we really can't take much away from the first meeting because it was played with Kirk Cousins at QB for the Vikings, and it was when Justin Fields got hurt early in the third quarter and Badgett came in. The Vikings with Dobbs at QB are three-point home favorites in this game, which is definitely a different role for them. Minnesota was a three-point dog in Denver, three-point underdog to the Saints, and a a three-and-a-half-point dog to Atlanta. These are all average or below-average teams, and now versus the Bears, Minnesota's a three-point favorite. I'm not so sure the Bears are six points worse than those teams Minnesota was underdog to. Um, It's still not known the status of Justin Jefferson, if he's going to return this game or not. My guess is he'll return week 14. With the Vikings having their bye week next week, it makes sense to bring him back after the bye week. This is a tough one. Minnesota's on a 6-0 against a uh, spread streak here. Uh, Their amazing turnover luck they've had finally uh, ran out on them last week, turning it over three times versus Denver. Uh, But only losing by a single point. That's probably a positive, actually. Um, I lean towards the Bears. They got sharp money at plus 3.5, and and it wiped out all the plus 3.5s on the board. Uh, But this is also the Bears' fourth road game in five weeks. It's not really an ideal situational spot, but I do think the Bears look just so much better with Fields back at QB, and they're a little underrated in the market. By most ratings, the Bears are in the 26-27 range overall. Um, I personally have them rated 22nd, Um, and... Ratings are different than rankings, just to be clear. Um, Bears' defense is sneaky good. Um, I know last week they allowed Detroit to score on those last two drives of the game, but they had been on the field all game and were just gassed out when Detroit went up-tempo. The Bears just couldn't get off the field. I don't even think they forced a third down there. Um, I also like the over in this one. Bears haven't played a mobile QB like Dobbs that can extend plays and think they'll score points, and think Fields will have success facing the blitz-happy defense of the Vikings. Haven't bet anything yet. I got some player props circled, though, for access to all the bets I make, plus all the educational betting lessons I have. Join the Betting Network Discord. Uh, You can join for free with limited access, which the free member access probably has more value than 90% of all these paid subscriptions out there. I do charge $25 per month for full access to all the channels in the Discord, invite link is in my bio you can follow me on ig and dm me with any questions that's all i got for this one till next time good luck with your bets